Welcome back everybody. My name is Albert LaBelle and I love picking locks. Alright everybody, I got a uh, challenge locking device called Viper. And uh, you got to see the key by the way. It's by um, Lone Wolf Lock Picking. And uh, it is pretty badass. Um, I got to tell you, I'm not positive. I'm going to get it on this first try on camera because it's freaking awesome. Uh, there's the key though, but check it out. Got the little V cut in it for Viper. Is that cool? Something different, right? I think it's cool. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I have picked this. It, it took me several tries to uh, actually get it to an open. So I'm going to give it a try on camera now, and we all know how that goes. So let's just get right on into it. Let's, uh, that should be good. Uh... I'm be using um, this pick here is from I want to say uh, Jason Carlson. Let me see if I can get it on the camera there. Kind of just a uh, almost like the uh, I got one that's golly from uh, Peterson that's got a flat top like that, like a short whoops, like a short hook with a flat top. Pretty cool pick. And I'll probably be using also this pick here. I want to say Bobby Key sent me this one. And uh, I'm guessing this design is probably one of Foxy's from uh, Red Cat Imaging, if I'm right. I could be wrong. Uh, but it's pretty badass because these picks, uh, you can slide this pick out of here and uh, replace it with another, uh, I think, Sparrow's picks slide in there. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So, bada boom, bada bing. I'm going to be using, oh, uh, I am not prepared. Uh, top of the keyway, I think. This dude, uh, that'll probably work. All right, so let's uh, let's see if we can get something started here. Cause yeah, this is uh, I tried picking this thing several times with no success. I tried going real easy on it, like that last one I did by uh, William Mansell. You know, the soft touch, I guess, and uh, it didn't work. So. Uh, I got a little nasty with it. That's what it seems like it likes. It likes the nasty, so. It's not the gentle type. But I got, whoops. I got a, feels like a little something already started, but I'll tell you right now. Oh, okay, we've got a nice turn there. A little bit more. But this lock will play with your mind. See so counter rotation right here? I think it's one I'm gonna take it there we go got that false set back I'm gonna hold it while I fix this again there we go all right yeah it's a nasty sucker in there man I still got the false set I'm gonna try using this other pick now it's got that deep a deep hook to it. Now I gotta find which one's gonna talk to me here. I probably got some overset. Oh, there we go. I think it's two. All right, but I lost that false set. See if I can get it to okay. Counter rotation, I want to say that's like three ish. Oh, slipped off of it. Okay. Back into the fall set again. nothing in the back. I think I've got something overset already. That's just me popping off the pins by the way. <laughs> Sounds like the... Okay, I'm gonna try giving that last one a little. Oh. 
Okay, I need this other pick again because I think I got counter up front. Oh, you nasty, nasty lock, you. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Nasty luck, I gotta tell you. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Okay, let's uh let's get backed out a little bit. Freaking excellent luck. Excellent luck. So like I said, it took me uh several attempts at this thing to kind of get it uh I wouldn't say figured out. As you can see, I don't have it figured out, but uh where I can get the sucker open. Okay, let's just go right here for a second here. Whoops. And get a pin and tray down here. And then we can get some. Where are we at? There we go. Okay. Uh, see if we can get it out of here. I guess maybe straight through the back. And it's real funky shape to this thing too. So it, fitting it in that holder was a was a chore in itself so we're uh, very much open as you can see so uh, you know what I don't know if this thing's gonna it looks like shrink wrap okay we got it it is shrink wrap or something but it's not sticky so there's the key funky uh, I'm gonna hope you know what uh, let's just keep it open <laughs> just in case uh, yeah we'll just uh, yeah we'll keep it open um, let's get this clip off the back somehow I don't know if my new tools gonna work maybe not without locking it back up huh here we go. Alright. So, where are we at? There's the top. This thing's got a lot going on. Okay. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's, uh, hope this comes apart nicely. Oh, boy. Okay, we got it. Six pinner, all needed picking, it looks like. Three's a little tiny guy, like a little T pin in number three. Golly. There's a whole lot of work in these pins. Okay, give my eyes. Uh, let's uh, get a pokey. Take a look at this core right quick. Where are we at? Uh, we've got. Okay, there's a lot going on in this thing. There's like threading and undercuts in one, two three and then there's threading in four and then undercut in five and six there's a lot of where are we at golly a lot going on in there okay let's go up top shim out need some tweezers and where are we at I'm losing my mind with this camera here. Okay. Number one is a multi like spooly serrated looking combobulation with a sharp, sharp top on it. Little baby spring. Two is a like spooled type thing. Again, sharp ends on it with a really baby spring. 
<laughs> wow, wait till you see those springs. Uh, that was two, so three is a, like a serrated T-pin combobulation. That's pretty neat. Uh, that was three, so four. Looks like a, let me try to hold it up. Uh, Multi-spooled, I would call that. Golly, these springs are incredible. Um, that was four, so five. A spool. And number six, let's try to go from the back if I'm careful. I don't want it to turn over on me. There we go. Uh, spool. Okay. There we go. And get that stuff out of my way. And see if there's anything done up here. It does feel like it. You know what? I think they're all... I think they're... I think they're all threaded. Six seems more iffy, but they all are. I believe they all are. Let me see if I can get the camera down that hole. See it? You can see the threads in most of them down the hole. Okay. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's put this, uh, this key like so. There we go. That was a fun pick. Fun, fun pick. That was, uh, again, Viper by Lone Wolf Lock Picking. Freaking awesome. Really enjoyed it. Alright. Hold this steady here. Right there. Where's my pokey? There we go. Alright, let's run through these pins, eh? Uh, triple serrated, almost triple spooled, really. And number one, a double in number two, and then we got this kind of spooled T-pin combobulation, I'd call that. Uh, this one here is pretty wild. It's like uh, one, two, three, four spooly almost. Because those are wide serrations. I think once the serration goes so wide, it's a spool. But, you know, to each their own, I guess. You can see what it is. Uh, five is this uh, another, I don't know, multi, almost spooled like again. Same with, same with this one, number six, and it's got a T-pin top. Uh, drivers, we got this again. They, are they wide serrations or is it triple spooled? Same with number two. This one's a spool with a T-pin on it. This one again, uh, triple spooled I'd say. This one here is kind of a layered cake but it does have an end to it. Uh, so maybe a layered cake with a hat. <laughs> and then six is this uh, spool. And like I kept saying with the springs, they look so weird. Check them out. That's tiny. Pretty cool. And they all do look, I guess, copper or something. Whatever they're made out of. Copper or brass. Okay, that's what we got, y'all. That was from uh, Lone Wolf Lockpick, and I highly appreciate it. And I want to say Fast Charlie sent me this. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But uh, thanks to whomever did. So, Big Al, signing out.